Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Motions of the Earth. Question number 1. The Earth takes underscore to complete one revolution. Option A. 365 days and 6 hours. Option B. 365 days and 7 hours. Option C. 365 days and 8 hours. Option D. 365 days and 9 hours. The correct answer is Option A. 365 days and 6 hours. The motion of the Earth around the Sun in its orbit is called revolution. It takes the second motion of the Earth around the Sun in its orbit is called revolution. It takes 365 days, one year, to revolve around the Sun. We consider a year as consisting of 365 days only and ignore 6 hours for the sake of convenience. Question number 2. In leap year, the month of February has Option A. 31 days Option B. 30 days Option C. 29 days Option D. 28 days The correct answer is Option C. 29 days the second motion of the Earth around the Sun in its orbit is called revolution. It takes 365 days equal to one year to revolve around the Sun. We consider a year as consisting of 365 days only and ignore 6 hours for the sake of convenience. 6 hours saved every year are added to make one day equal to 24 hours over a span of 4 years. This surplus day is added to the month of February. Thus every fourth year, February is of 29 days instead of 28 days. Such a year with 366 days is called a leap year. Question number 3. How much time does the Earth take time to complete its rotation? Option A. 23. Option B. 20. Option C. 22. Option D. 24. The correct answer is Option D. 24. The Earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. The period of rotation is known as the Earth Day. This is the daily motion of the Earth. Question number 4. It is the position of the Earth when the Northern Hemisphere has the longest day and the shortest night. Option A. Night Solstice. Option B. Day Solstice. Option C. Summer Solstice. Option D. Winter Solstice. The correct answer is. Option C. Summer Solstice. The North Pole is inclined towards the Sun and the places beyond the Arctic Circle experience continuous daylight for about six months. Since a large portion of the Northern Hemisphere is getting light from the Sun. It is summer in the regions north of the equator. The longest day and the shortest night at these places occur on 21st June. This position of the Earth is called the summer solstice. Question number 5. An equinox happens underscore each year. Option A. Twice. Option B. Once. Option C. Thrice. Option D. Four times. The correct answer is Option A. Twice, on 21st March and September 23rd, direct rays of the sun fall on the equator. At this position, neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun, so, the whole Earth experiences equal days and equal nights. This is called an equinox. Question number 6. The daily motion of the Earth is Option A. Revolution. Option B. Rotation. Option C. Equinox. Option D. Longitude. The correct answer is. Option B. Rotation.
the Earth takes about 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. The period of rotation is known as the Earth Day. This is the daily motion of the Earth. Question number 7. The Earth travels around the underscore in elliptical. Option A. Moon. Option B. Venus. Option C. Sun. Option D. Mars. The correct answer is Option C. Sun. The movement of the Earth around the Sun in a fixed path or orbit is called revolution. Question number 8. Earth receive light from the Option A. Mars. Option B. Sun. Option C. Venus. Option D. Moon. The correct answer is Option B. Sun. The Earth receives light from the Sun. Due to the spherical shape of the Earth, only half of it gets light from the Sun at a time. Question number 9. The Sun's rays fall vertically on the underscore on 21st. June. Option A. Tropic of Capricorn. Option B. Tropic of Cancer. Option C. Arctic Circle. Option D. Antarctic Circle. The correct answer is Option B. Tropic of Cancer. On 21st June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. The rays of the Sun fall directly on the Tropic of Cancer. As a result, these areas receive more heat. The areas near the poles receive less heat as the rays of the Sun are slanting. Question number 10. Days are shorter during underscore season. Option A. Autumn. Option B. Summer. Option C. Rainy. Option D. Winter. The correct answer is Option D. Winter. During winter season, the nights are longer than the days. Question number 11. Leap days always added to the month of Option A. January. Option B. February. Option C. December. Option D. March. The correct answer is Option B. February. Six hours saved every year are added to make one day, 24 hours, over a span of four years. This surplus day is added to the month of February. Thus every fourth year, February is of 29 days instead of 28 days. Such a year with 366 days is called a leap year. Question number 12. There occurs underscore solstices every year. Option A. 2. Option B. 5. Option C. 4. Option D. 3. The correct answer is. Option A. 2. On 21st June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. The rays of the Sun fall directly on the Tropic of Cancer. This position of the Earth is called the Summer Solstice. On 22nd December, the Tropic of Capricorn receives direct rays of the Sun as the South Pole tilts towards it. This position of the Earth is called the Winter Solstice. Question number 13. The time of the day just before sunrise is known as Option A. Dusk. Option B. Noon. Option C. Dawn. Option D. Morning. The correct answer is Option C. Dawn. The first appearance of light in the sky before sunrise. Question number 14. The ray of the sun are underscore over the equator during the spring and autumnal equinoxes. Option A. Horizontal. Option B. Straight curved. Option C. Curved. Option D. Vertical. The correct answer is. Option D. Vertical.
On 21st March and September 23rd, direct rays of the sun fall on the equator. At this position, neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun, so, the whole earth experiences equal days and equal nights. This is called an equinox. Question number 15. The sun rays are vertical over the underscore during underscore. Option A. Tropic of Capricorn, Winter Solstice. Option B. Tropic of Cancer, Summer Solstice. Option C. Tropic of Cancer, Winter Solstice. Option D. Tropic of Capricorn, Summer Solstice. The correct answer is Option B. Tropic of Cancer, Summer Solstice. On 21st June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. The rays of the Sun fall directly on the Tropic of Cancer. As a result, these areas receive more heat. The nights are longer than the days. This position of the Earth is called the Summer Solstice. Question number 16. The movement of the Earth around the Sun in a fixed path or orbit is called underscore. Option A. Circular cycle. Option B. Rotation. Option C. Resolution. Option D. Revolution. The correct answer is. Option D. Revolution. Earth spins around its axis, just as a top spins around its spindle. The spinning movement is called Earth's rotation. At the same time that the Earth spins on its axis, it also orbits, or revolves around the Sun. This movement is called revolution. Question number 17. The circle that divides day from the night on the globe is called as underscore. Option A. Circle of division. Option B. Circle of illumination. Option C. Circle of solar plane. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Circle of Illumination. The circle of illumination is the division between day and night over the earth. The circle of illumination bisects, cuts in half, all latitudes on the spring and autumnal equinoxes. At this time, all places have equal day length, 12 hours. The circle of illumination always bisects the equator, 0 degrees latitude. Question number 18. Seasons change due to the change in the position of the Earth around the Sun. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option A. True. The Earth's rotation axis is tilted relative to the imaginary space orbit around the Sun. This imaginary plane is called the ecliptic plane. These movements of the planet change the amount of light that each hemisphere receives, thus causing the changing of seasons. Question number 19. What is meant by equinox? Option A. Neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun. Option B. Both poles are tilted towards sun. Option C. North pole is tilted towards sun. Option D. South pole is tilted towards sun. The correct answer is. Option A. Neither of the poles is tilted towards the sun. An equinox occurs twice a year, when the tilt of the Earth's axis is inclined neither away from nor towards the sun, the center of the sun being in the same plane as the Earth's equator. Question number 20. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called underscore. Option A. Shining Earth. Option B. Celestial bodies. Option C. Shining satellites. Option D. Astrological satellites. The correct answer is. Option B. Celestial bodies. The sun, the moon, and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. A celestial body is any natural body outside of the Earth's atmosphere. Celestial bodies in the solar system into categories sun, 
moon, planets, and other small bodies, that is asteroids, comets, meteors, based on physical properties. They usually follow highly elongated paths around the sun. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.